Good day, this is our latest video update on this Friday afternoon, a very busy Friday as we continue to watch Typhoon Sanba make its way towards the north. The news to near the Ryukyu Islands was last located approximately 840 kilometers south southeast of the island of Okinawa. Maximum sustained winds have increased once again to 205 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 285 kilometers per hour according to the uh, Japan Meteorological Agency. Uh, the system is currently moving northward at 15 kilometers per hour. Uh, the system has intensified overnight, actually becoming a Category 5 Super Typhoon, according to Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Now, Sanba makes it makes Sanba the strongest typhoon this year, and also the strongest cyclone since uh, Super Typhoon Maggie back in uh, 2010. Uh, in fact, the minimum pressure according to uh, the JMA is actually 900 millibars. Compare that to Maggie, which had a minimum pressure of around 885 millibars or so. So, very strong typhoon, but seems to have leveled off now in the past six hours. Looking at the latest visible image, in my opinion, the system doesn't look as strong compared to last night, actually. Although we didn't have visible last night, but I mean, in terms of the overall appearance in satellite, whether infrared or, or visible, the eye continues to contract, and also we are starting to see in some dry moat actually appearing on the uh, on the circulation of the system. And overall, the size and the intensity of the of the cold of the cloud tops seems to have uh, slightly weakened, or at least continued to weaken in the past three to six hours. Nevertheless. Um, both agencies and e many agencies across the Western Pacific keeping this is a very strong uh, cyclone. Now looking at the latest microwave image and comparing that with the visible image earlier, there are hints of the system undergoing an hour replacement cycle. Joint Typhoon Warning Center hinted that on their, uh, their last prognostic reasoning. See the inner eye wall of the system again continuing to contract Continuing to uh, see this outer ring of convection starting to form on the uh, on the microwave, which could uh, definitely suggest of an hour replacement cycle uh, that is per perhaps uh, currently uh, uh, currently going on now, um, based on the latest uh, satellite trends. So, as we all know, uh, in, in very strong tropical cyclones, uh, wall replacement cycles uh, do happen. And uh, usually, it induces a short-term weakening uh, for a cyclone. And actually, in, in, in recent uh, examples here in the Western Pacific, most of the time, the cyclone replacement cycles don't really give the, ty the, the typhoons that much time anymore to recuperate. Uh, you may remember Typhoon Guchuan earlier this year. That also intensified into a super typhoon uh, east of Luzon. And it underwent an hour replacement cycle just it before it moved into Okinawa and then never really fully recovered um, by the time it made it to the uh, Japanese islands. The, the portage stations actually barely recorded any typhoon for sustained winds here. So I'm not saying we'll see significant wi weakening uh, from now here uh, with Sanba, but still the uh, current I will replacement cycle does bode, uh, does bring good news for for much of Okinawa and the rest of um, uh, the rest of the forecast path, even including Korean Peninsula, because it means system will probably be weakening down to a Category Four by the time it makes it into the Japanese islands. But still, a very very strong and very threatening typhoon, something still. Uh, needs to be handled carefully and said this many times now need to really prepare now a system is less than around 48 hours before it, it starts impacting much of uh, Okinawa and the rest of the Ryukyu Island so you know, if you got loose uh, loose items outside bring them bring them inside you know, uh, store uh, stock up on foods water medicine if you have prescriptions and all of that all that stuff and also for, for if you are watching in South Korea you can continue to start preparing now make make your plans as we head into the weekend um, 
run some important errands if you have so and uh, as the system is could could impact uh, the uh, Korean Peninsula beginning Monday morning now looking at the infrared image of the system again showing you weakening trend on uh, the uh, cloud tops we are seeing warming uh, especially along the northwestern side of the system we no longer see that yellow uh, shadings here in the infrared again which could be a sign of that hour replacement cycle doing some impact now on the system now as for the track system is continuing the sun is continuing to move northward under the influence of this subtropic uh, e near equatorial ridge it has stayed somewhat to the east of the forecast track and in fact again most of the agencies have actually shifted their track to the east now expecting Sanba to make landfall in Okinawa remember yesterday or at least two days ago we were forecasting this system to move just to the west of the island now it is forecast to make landfall by early Sunday morning now looking also at the latest um, uh, cyclone tracks page showing you the computer models still in very much good agreement in terms of the overall forecast track of the system taking it generally northward across the Okinawa Island and perhaps into the Korean Peninsula by early next week going back to the uh, steering layers here showing you the mid-latitude trough that is diving down across eastern China and as the system moves northward it will start to accelerate as this trough begins to pick up the system and also uh, induce uh, s induce uh, increase uh, in wind shear perhaps uh, contributing to a fast uh, weakening trend for the system as we move into Sunday evening into Monday morning as the system moves into East China Sea still by that time the system will still remain as a powerful perhaps category 2 typhoon by the time it makes landfall in South Korea now looking at the latest forecast from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and a look at this taking this right across Okinawa right across Kadena Air Base there by uh, again Sunday early Sunday morning uh, 18 Zulu so roughly around 5 a.m. Japan time is where we'll see perhaps the strongest winds um, forecast winds are now around 125 knots so just below super typhoon status but still very strong category 4 um, in terms of the winds here, we'll probably start seeing uh, tropical storm force winds tomorrow afternoon um, with 35 knots or more. In fact, Kadena Air Base is now under T Core 3 and perhaps going to be upgraded to T Core 2 as we move into the evening hours tonight and perhaps early tomorrow morning. JMA also issued uh, high waves warnings and also storm surge warnings. And probably we're going to see storm warnings by uh, by early tomorrow. Now the uh, tropical storm force winds again will start probably around tomorrow afternoon, and will continue to uh, to increase as we move into the evening hours of um, Saturday. Again with the uh, peak winds running around between Sunday morning around 4 a.m., perhaps lasting for a couple of hours as the system slowly moves to the north northwest and also looking at the mid-term uh, forecast from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and taking the system uh, just east of the island of Jeju and perhaps into South Korea by uh, early uh, early Monday morning as again uh, by 6 Zulu they're forecasting winds around 90 knots so right around category 2 status again this all depends on the weakening trend the system will exhibit in the next 24 to 48 hours if it weakens much faster than that we could probably see a category 1 if it weakens much slower probably retain category 3 category strong category 2 intensity now also forecast from JMA showing nearly similar track probably a bit east of uh, if JDWC here but still forecasting a land landfall right into South Korea perhaps in the province of Jolanamdo or Gyeongsangnamdo roughly around 100 to 150 kilo kilometers west of the city of Busan and uh, probably 300 kilometers south of Seoul again same nearly similar timing from JMA perhaps around Monday morning as well they also expect the system to maintain the typhoon intensity as it makes landfall into the Korean Peninsula now the system will start to accelerate and perhaps begin next tropical transition by Sunday evening 
as, you move, as it moves into the East China Sea and perhaps uh, becoming a weak tropical storm by the time it moves into uh, the Sea of Japan by uh, Monday evening or Tuesday morning. The timeline for this one is uh, will be the typhoon force winds starting uh, very early Monday morning along with very heavy rains definitely impacting South Korea and also North Korea. Not only that, the island of Kyushu should also be uh, should also be wary of uh, the threat of heavy rains, despite the system actually being much uh, smaller compared to Bolovin, which hit the which hit this region uh, two weeks back. And finally, we look at the Western Pacific here, and if we uh, loop that image, you can see here we have uh, Typhoon Sun, but also look to the west of the system, a train of moisture again. This is the southwest monsoon that continues to be enhanced by this strong system impacting much of uh, southern Luzon and also parts of Visayas. Again, rainfall amounts have generally been light, l right around 50 millimeters as, uh, as expected. Also, the low pressure area that we mentioned yesterday in West 91W continues to spin up here, but again, uh, not really expected to uh, intensify, but at the very least could still bring some moisture and perhaps scattered rains across western parts of Luzon in the next 24 to 48 hours. But as of right now, the eye is right on Sanba. It continues to move northward, and the threat continues uh, throughout the Ryukyu Islands with the strongest winds perhaps starting to move in tomorrow evening. And again, a forecast to impact the region with violent winds of more than 200 kilometers per hour beginning early Sunday. Right now, our Philly James Reynolds and also meteorologist Robert Spera is moving to Okinawa right now to intercept the storm basically and get some incredible footage out there so please check that out uh, perhaps early next week here at westernpacificweather.com but that concludes our video update for today and keep checking out these official uh, weather agencies we are not an official weather agency by any means so please check out JMA and also Kadena for the latest official warnings and forecasts and also South Korea Definitely the system will be moving towards your region in the next two days, so please prepare there as well. Stay safe guys, bye.